Greetings, greetings, and praise the Lord, house of joy, health essentials attendees. We are so very thankful that you joined in this morning. So welcome, 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 hallelujah, to another session of Health Essentials. We are so very thankful to have this platform. I just thank God for the opportunity to share all of his goodness with his people. Hallelujah on what thus saith the Lord where their health and wellness is concerned. So as you can see that, you know, the season is changing. And as I look outside, I see the rain falling and it's cleansing, you know, it's cleansing the air, it's cleansing the atmosphere. And if you let it, it'll cleanse you as well inside. It's just a feeling of freshness and newness in the air. Amen. Amen. So I welcome you yet again to this session. Thank you for uh, spending your next 45 minutes with me. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go directly to the throne of prayer, and then we're going to dig right in to what the Lord has given me to share with you today. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, I praise you and I thank you that you are a good God. We thank you that we know you are a good God. We thank you that you love us and desire for us to live, hallelujah, peaceful and happy and abundant life. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we praise you and Thank you that you make all things new, hallelujah, and you are working that power in all of our lives right now, Lord God, no matter what has happened in the past, what mistakes we've made, what we've missed out on your best for us, it's all changing, beginning now in the powerful and mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. As I stand praying, Lord God, I always ask you to forgive me for sins of omission, sins of commission, things I may have said, done, thought that are not like you, Lord, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, Lord God, my strength and my redeemer. Lord, we thank you for your renewing power in our lives today. We're beginning a new day full of your mercies, and we are so thankful for it in the name of Jesus. We thank you that we're forgiven, that we're righteous, that you say we're special in your sight, that you say we are strong in you and the power of your might. You say that we have the mind of Christ. You say that we are overcomers. You say that we have the victory. Hallelujah. And I believe that by faith, as you said, the just shall walk by faith. And I believe that I and we are part of that just. Thank you, Jesus. So we thank you for this new season that is coming up in our lives. And we're expecting great miracles, signs, and wonders. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This is a fresh start because your mercies are new every morning. Hallelujah. So Lord, we give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. So here's to you all in optimal health. I'm so happy to see some more faces this morning. Praise the Lord. Thank you all for joining in. I'm so happy for that. Hallelujah. You know, um, I'm just feeling really excited today in the Lord, you know, of um, just his goodness and his mercy. You know, he said, um, as I mentioned, the seasons are changing. And, you know, there's a, he said in Ecclesiastes, there is a time for everything. Hallelujah. He said to everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Amen. Even though the, the seasons may change, the weather may change, but we thank God that we know that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. That Y'all should be giving him some praise right now in his home that he is. Hallelujah. He remains the same. He remains, hallelujah, steadfast. Hallelujah. And we are so thankful for that. Amen. So, um. This morning, um, I'm going to share with you some hidden food dangers, and we have covered it in past um, health essential sessions, but I want to cover it again for those who may not have heard, and even to give you a refresher if you've heard it before, but these are some of the foods that um, have hidden dangers in them. And last, we've talked about uh, foods, you know, to enjoy, foods we can enjoy, foods to avoid, avoid. we've talked about that. Um, so we're gonna, again going to talk about the hidden dangers in food today. And I just wanted to mention a few more scriptures. I'm just feeling really delighted in the Lord. Didn't he say to delight thyself in the Lord and he'll give you the, the, the desires of your heart, right? Amen. That's what he said. It's in the book. So it says in Deuteronomy 7, 14 to 15, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Don't forget his benefits. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, 
who crowneth thee with loving kindness. We have a crown, y'all, of loving kindness around us and tender mercies, praise the Lord, who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed as the eagles. And for me, that just hits me right at home when it comes to putting in our mouth the good things, you know, to eat, right? Okay, and again, we've talked about food, you know, what to eat, what not to eat. And now I'm gonna show you some hidden dangers so that you can be aware you can have Uh, be well-informed, and then you can make a well-informed decision whether or not you want to consume that particular product or not. Amen? Praise the Lord. Um, One more scripture. I'm just excited in the Lord. The Lord said, my son, attend to my words, incline thine ear into my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life, hallelujah, unto those that find them in health. He said right there, health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and perverse lips put far from thee. So keep any type of negative talk about where your health and wellness is concerned. Keep it out of your mouth. Don't let it even come out of your lips. Hallelujah. Because God said, according to his word, as long as we do what he said, to incline our ear to his sayings and, and do what thus saith the Lord. Amen? Amen. So again, welcome, welcome, welcome. And let me pull up what we're going to talk about today. Are there any, um, before I go get really dig deep, are there any hot testimonies about anything? And we'll keep it like about 30 seconds short. (laughs) Any hot testimonies about your health and wellness since you've been attending Health Essentials or even if you're participating in the uh, House of Joy 12 week fitness challenge? Give me a short testimony. Just come on, two of them. Come on, let's go. Okay, I'm going to make mine really quick, Elder Bridget. Hello, everyone. I just want to say I thank God for health and strength and that he, each day, he gives me new life, new mercies. And I'm so grateful because the 75, you know, he didn't have to do that. We see a lot of younger people dying, but I had to get my lab work done the other day. And I tell you, when I got the results back, I was truly amazed. It's one of the better lab work results that I've had in a long time. And I know that a lot of it is because of the fact that Elder Bridge is teaching us how to care for these temples. I'm using chlorophyll. I'm using a lot of natural things that are helpful. I'm changing my diet. I'm even losing some weight. I hadn't even planned on it, but I just don't eat like I used to. So thank God for this class and for the knowledge and for putting Elder Bridget and all of our leaders and all of our members in our midst so we could glean from each other. But I'm really, truly enjoying this health essentials. I need it. Praise the Lord. We rejoice with you, elect lady. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for sharing that powerful testimony. One more quick, hot testimony. Just about 20, 30 seconds. Come on. Come back. Okay. There may be people just listening in. All right. Elder okay. Bridget. Oh, yes. One more real quick. This is Stefan. I would like to say this. I am absolutely not perfect at this new lifestyle. I won't call it a diet, but I am okay. definitely mindful of my eating habits every day because of this class. So I want to thank you because it's always on It's always on my mind what I'm putting in my body now that I've been checking out your class. So thank you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that's what it's all about, being cognizant of what you're putting in your body. Just like we are to be cognizant of the fact that the Holy Spirit, you know, is right there for us at our at our grasp, you know, any hour of the day. So being cognizant of God's Holy Spirit and also being well aware of what you're putting in your body make you think first before you make that decision to consume it. So powerful testimony, praise the Lord. Thank you both for sharing that. That's encouraging for somebody today. I know it is, I just know it's encouraging for somebody today. All right, so let's dive into what I want to talk about today. So these are clues that we didn't know that could possibly kill us. Let me put it that way, go straight to the punch. It could possibly kill you. Even though we consume them daily, most of these foods, but it turns out there are plenty of dangerous things, you know, in our kitchen and many foods that often taste delicious can pose a threat to our health if we're not careful. So 
once I go over these, I told you, to, I encourage you rather <laughs> to do a sweep of your refrigerator and your pantry for these items to ensure safe eating, okay? So uh, here we go with cashews. All right, cashew shells carry anacardic acid, which can burn your skin and cause an upset stomach. All right, now this is particularly true of raw cashews. Now, there's also the fact that cashews, they say they must be boiled. They, I say they, the, the, um, probably the FDA, that cashews must be boiled or roasted before you eat them in their raw state. So um, they have also an ingredient, it's in a chemical called urushiol, U-R-U-S-H-I-O-L. Now, this is a chemical that can cause poison ivy-like rashes or worse, death depending on how much you consume and also where your level of health is. We're, we're not all on the same uh, level where our health is concerned. Some of us are um, have you know things going on in our bodies, type of diseases and so forth that are going on. So just remember this particular um, chemical called urushio can cause poison ivy-like rashes. So if you get a rash, think, remember I've always told you, got, you all that if something goes on with your body, like I say, you get a rash or an itch or a bump or something, you know, your throat or your ear hurt or something, think about what you last consumed, what you last ate or drink. I will say, I would just have to say, I'm going to go with 99% of the time. You can trace it back to what you just consumed or what you just drank. So that's what we're talking about as far as cashews are concerned. Again, eat them roasted versus raw, if at all possible. I mean, you can consume uh, raw, but just don't consume like a bag full like I do. <laughs> eating uh, nuts like their popcorn, all right? So um, in moderation, everything in moderation, okay? Nutmeg. Now, most of us already have this um, spice in our cabinets, though it's great to have on hand for baking and, you know, ingesting a significant amount. But did you know, this is interesting, that nutmeg can lead to psychotic symptoms like disorientation, hallucinations, and hyperexcitation, Right? Who would have thought nutmeg? But how many of us consume it, you know, excessively? We don't. We add it to our uh, pies, you know, to your pumpkin pie or whatever, you know, for the holidays and so forth. Um, and then they add, I know, um, they add them to certain um, sweetened drinks like coffee and so forth. Lattes and stuff like that is added to. So in, in you know, minimal amounts, but ingesting a significant amount can lead to psychotic symptoms. So keep that in mind, all right? Tuna, we know that um, we've all heard about the dangers of mercury poisoning. And that's a big reason why we should be careful of our raw tuna intake. Sushi is good. I would recommend not eating raw meat at all, especially for children and pregnant women. Once ingested, it can cause itching, pain, high blood pressure, and other dangerous symptoms. We're talking about raw tuna, okay? So make sure you cook that tuna. If you're gonna consume it, um, know the source of where you received it from and then uh, make a quality decision from there, okay? All right, now we're talking about kidney and lima beans. Now these are legumes, as you know, beans, and they're good for you unless they're prepared incorrectly. Now, soaking red kidney beans for several hours to remove lectin which can, lectin can kill the cells in your stomach and cook and drain lima beans thoroughly to get rid of the chemical compound linamarin, which can turn into hydrogen cyanide. Isn't that interesting? I know my mom, I never asked her why, but I remember she always cook any of her beans before she, um, um, she would soak them rather, I'm sorry, before she even cooked them. And I thought it was the fact to make them easier uh, on the stomach for digestion and less flatulence. I know that does help too when you soak your beans, less flatulence. All right, so just keep that in mind. There's a chemical compound called linamarin, which can turn into hydrogen cyanide. All right, so soak them kidney beans. All right, and any other bean. <laughs> honey, all right. We know that honey is good for us. It has certain good um, qualities for our health. And um, pyrolyzidine, alkaloids. These are poisonous toxins are found in honey. If honey isn't pasteurized properly, eating it can lead to headaches, dizziness, weakness, and vomiting. 
Did you know that eating too much of honey can be fatal? Fatal. We're talking death. So keep that in mind. And a lot of people are allergic to honey. You know, anything that can turn, uh, contains any type of bee products, most people have an allergic reaction to that. So make sure you know if you are allergic. If you don't know, you'll find out if you're allergic to honey and any type of other bee products. So again, pyrolizodine alkaloids and their poisonous toxins and they're found in honey. All right. So um, a key, A-C-K-E-E. This is a pear-shaped fruit that needs to fully ripen because if it doesn't, it contains toxins that can lead to death. So importation of this raw fruit is actually banned in the United States. States, thank God for that. But you can buy it canned. And I've never seen it anywhere in any of the, you know, like health food stores. I'm sure it's probably in the uh, specialty stores. You probably can find it there. But um, it contains toxins that can lead to death. So if you run across a key, A-C-K-E-E, -E, remember what I said. All right. <laughs> um, so not G. Now this is live octopus. Now we're not supposed to eat like live octopus because God, he specifically says what we are to eat and what we're not to eat in Leviticus and Deuteronomy. If it doesn't have fins or scales, he didn't say anything up well, suction cups, right? But if it doesn't have fins or scales, it technically should not be consumed. And I follow that. I believe what God said back then is uh, relevant for today. So be careful if you ever eat live octopus, all right? The suction cups can get stuck in your throat if you don't chew it thoroughly. And that does not sound pleasant, right? You probably could get choked, you know, choked from eating live octopus. And I've seen uh, many people do eat live octopus. So, so um, fugu, and now this is a puffer fish. The puffer fish's skin contains certain organs and they contain an extremely poisonous toxin that can paralyze a human and even cause death. So let me read that, reread that again. The puffer fish's skin and certain organs contain an extremely poisonous toxin that can paralyze a human and even cause death. So if you're out there trying new things, you know, I would leave that puffer fish alone. Just don't even bother with it, all right? Um, but you need to know, all right? Castor oil. Now, castor oil comes from the castor bean plant. Oh, wow. Elder Melinda mentioned that you have to even have a license to even cook puffer fish. That's interesting. Wow. Hmm. So moving on to castor oil. Again, it comes from the castor bean plant, which is loaded with the poison ricin. Make sure the beans your castor oil was made from adhere to all safety guidelines. Um, you can find the way you can find out is reading the label, of course, to find out where it came from, and then talk to the manager, uh, grocer at the store that you go to, and they can tell you what how it was shipped over from where, you know, and then you can follow the um, that from that information you can um, follow up and make sure that that castor oil was produced adhering to all safety guidelines. All right. Elderberry. We know elderberry is wonderful for, you know, colds and flus and strengthening the immune system. We love some elderberries or love some berries, period. I love berries. But the elderberry plant, now it's used in medicinal syrups, sodas, and liquors. And if consumed, you know, too much, it can cause a severely upset stomach. And also it's important to stay away from the stems and the leaves. You can read on the label what, the L, what that particular product was made from. If it did include the stems and the leaves, just know you may not want to consume that in abundance. We're talking half a teaspoon, you know. Yeah, just that small of amount. So keep that in mind. Uh, we know that stone fruits and apple seeds, apples and stone fruits, cherries, plums, apples, pears, peaches, and apricots, they are nature's candy, right? They're naturally sweet. But remember, sugar doesn't discriminate. Too much sugar uh, can cause health problems. All right. But stay away from the seeds as well as the bark and the leaves. They contain amygdalin. That's spelled A-M-Y-G-D-A-L-I-N. Amygdalin. Now, this is a compound that produces cyanide. 
Large doses, of course, can lead to dizziness and vomiting, increased blood pressure, kidney failure, coma, and even death. Those are the symptoms when you've been poisoned, right? You start your heart rate increases, and again, it leads you to become dizzy, and again, it leads to death. But there are many, many um, fruits that are um, naturally contain cyanide, and the Lord made them that way for a reason. We know his ways are higher than our ways. His thoughts are higher than our thoughts. There's a reason why he made certain uh, fruits to contain cyanide. All right. I'll do a little more research on that and get back with you. Praise the Lord. Now we know that hot dogs, you know, uh, and that, and that's, that's a um, given that they cause choking fatalities, you know, even not only in children, but in adults as well. So watch, especially your little ones, if you have grandchildren and children, watch them as they eat hot dogs, or maybe not even give them any at all. And yourself as well, be careful, make sure you chew your food. I had mentioned in um, another session that the average American does not chew their food enough. They'll chew maybe five or six times and swallow. Therefore, you're causing your digestive system to have to work a bit harder to digest those big bits of food that you just swallowed down and didn't take the time to chew. So at least 40 to 50 chews, you know, uh, per mouthful, is good. And that's not many. You think that's a lot of chewing, but it really is not. So take the time to chew your food properly and you'll have better digestion. All right. Almonds. We know this seed is, it's a seed Did you, and I mentioned that before. It's not actually a nut. Almonds are seeds. They pack many health benefits. They are also <laughs> potentially full of poison. What? Bitter almonds, while in their raw form, are full of cyanide. If you've ever, if you eat a lot of almonds like I do, you will run across one that tastes bitter, like poison. And I have, I ran across one and the first thing came to my mind, that tastes like poison. So uh, once I found out that it was indeed poison, it was full of cyanide and I didn't get sick or anything, but it was sure did taste nasty. And I just rinsed my mouth off and went on and kept eating the rest of it off. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't weren't dark. And you can tell because they're really dark. They're much darker than the, the other almonds. So almonds need to go through a specialized heat tre treatment more than just do-it-yourself oven roasting, all right, in order to remove the toxins. So just keep that in mind, all right? Uh, raw meat and uncooked eggs. Uh, raw meat, I wouldn't recommend eating that at all. As I mentioned before, uncooked eggs, I really would not recommend eating those. You know, just cook them, you know, <laughs> to avoid any potential harm, you know, to your body, to your health and your wellness. And we're talking about raw meat, including red meat, poultry, and seafood, and uncooked eggs can contain salmonella bacteria, which can cause gastroenteritis in humans, gastrointestinal distress. Salmonella poisoning can also lead to serious complications, such as bacteremia, so when salmonella enters the bloodstream of people that have uh, weaker immune systems, you know, that can be life-threatening, okay? So um, I would recommend not doing so. So light a flame under your meat, under your eggs <laughs> to avoid any risk. And remember, you can also um, steam your eggs. Actually, I, I don't, I used to microwave them, but I did uh, invest in a steamer and I steam my eggs and they come out just wonderful. You can even steam them in the shell, outside of the shell. They come out absolutely perfect. All right. Uh, cherries. Watch out for cherry seeds, which contain poisonous hydrogen cyanide, the cherry seeds. So I'm, I know you're not eating those, but don't even try to crush them up and include them in your um, protein drinks as powder. Don't do that because you're just literally poisoning yourself. All right. Don't do it. Potatoes. Potatoes have both poisonous stems and leaves. Isn't that interesting? The all-American potato. But even so, potato poisoning is very rare. Most potato-related deaths come from eating green potatoes or drinking potato leaf tea. So if the potato is green, it's got um, it's poison. It's got poison in it, poison in it. And I believe that poison is probably cyanide. I'm going to, I'll confirm that at a, uh, our next session. So uh, if they're green, you know, I would recommend not consuming them. Okay. Shellfish. We know that um, most people have severe allergic reactions to shellfish 
and they can inhibit breathing and even also be life-threatening. Uh, peanuts, you know, I've talked, oh, to the cows come home about peanuts, <laughs> that one of the most common allergies is peanuts. The most severe response is anaphylaxis, which can lead to severe constriction of the airways, shock, and even loss of consciousness. It is dangerous enough to cause death if left untreated. So know your allergies, it's very important. If you don't know your allergies, get to know if you are allergic again to honey or any type of the common allergens such as peanuts, corn, soy, and wheat. Know your allergies before stepping anywhere near these peanuts and their addictive friend, peanut butter. All right, peanut butter. And most peanuts, I always recommend to eat them, uh, find them organic. You know, if you can't find an organic peanut, um, I would recommend uh, not consuming it at all because most peanuts contain mold. And, you know, mold can um, cause a whole host of problems within your, um, within the human body. Um, okay, rhubarb leaves. They make up, you know, delicious pies, rhubarb pie, but the leaves are poison, poisonous, causing trouble breathing, again, seizures, kidney failure, and in some cases, death. We're talking about the leaves of the rhubarb, okay? Tomatoes, wonderful tomatoes. What's, now you say, what's wrong with the tomato, Elder Bridget? Okay, so the juicy red fruit, fruit, remember tomatoes, they, they, it is a, a tomato is a fruit. It contains a poison called glycoalkaloid, glycoalkaloid rather, in its leaves, which is known for causing upset stomachs, severe cramping, and anxiety. So steer clear of the leaves and the stems. When you get your tomato, you know, don't think you, you could use that. Take off the stems and, and throw them away. They're not good for human consumption. Okay. Mushrooms. Remember, mushrooms, not every mushroom is created equal. Criminy mushrooms, um, they make perfect, they're added to, uh, they go well, pair well um, with pasta and in salads as well. But some species contain poisons that can kill. So know, um, if you want to do more research on that, find out before you just consume mushrooms. Like the ones you buy in the store, they... Um, I would assume they're not poisonous. We would hope they're not poisonous and being sold in the store, but make sure you do your research where mushrooms are concerned, okay? Uh, cassava. Now, cassava flour is, um, it's come out as a gluten-free alternative as of late, but the vegetables, leaves, and roots, they're rich in cyanide. Rich, we're talking rich. Just two roots, two roots of cassava carry a fatal dose death. So these veggies must be peeled and cooked before consumption. Cassava flour, all right? Bean sprouts. Sprouts are often consumed raw, you know, like on salads or they're lightly cooked or they're thrown into a stir fry at the last minute to preserve the crunch. That means it's tough to cook out foodborne illnesses like E. coli, listeria, and salmonella. Since 1996, there have been numerous different outbreaks, some deadly from consuming bean sprouts or sprouts, period. So if they're expired, you know, sometimes they go on sale. Don't, just don't, just don't do it. Don't purchase it. Don't consume it. Because again, it could be containing E. coli, listeria, and salmonella. All right. Uh, raw milk. Grocery store milks, as we as milk is as we know, is pasteurized, and pasteurization actually is leaves the product with no nutritional value left. Even though the reason why uh, milk is pasteurized because they want to make sure that people are not at risk for deadly diseases such as E. coli and listeria. Okay, but some people do drink a milk straight from the animal. I've always thought I wanted to do that, just drink it straight from the cow. And some people think, yuck you know, because it's going to be warm and, you know, it's coming from his body. And anyway, <laughs> it sounds kind of gross, but that's where all the nutrition is. The calcium, the good calcium is just right there when you drink it immediately straight from the cow. But it's a pretty risky beverage. So anyone who drinks it, especially, you know, young children, um, if they drink it raw, they're at a major risk for daily diseases, as I mentioned, such as E. coli and listeria. 
and adults as well, but you know, children, their immune system is still um, being strengthened and they're still growing. Um, and then also for adults, you know, we could, our health could be compromised with some type of, um, you know, low immune, uh, low immune system, uh, not a healthy immune system. So if you could uh, decide to consume raw milk, um, make sure you're making a well-qualified, uh, well-informed decision before doing so. Okay. All right. Now, chili peppers, we're moving on. One won't kill you, obviously, but peppers have a chemical called capsaicin, C-A-P-S-A-I-C-I-N. It's what makes them spicy, right? And it's also what's used in pepper spray, okay? So consuming a lot, like during um, people do pepper eating contests, it can cause your lungs to constrict and what happens, you can't breathe. And then, you know, that can be fatal. So just remember chili peppers um, in moderation. All right. Marshmallows, um, there's no nutritional value in marshmallows at all. The only way, reason I would recommend marshmallows, I mean, if you have to consume and you need a little sweet, you know, just eat a few marshmallows to satisfy, satisfy your little sweet uh, tooth. So um, there's a game that people play called Chubby Bunny where they stuff their mouths to see how many marshmallows they can fit in their mouths. and you know, you could um, die from that because you can't breathe, all right? So it's a major choking hazard, okay. Um, unpasteurized cheese. So that is similar to raw milk. Unpasteurized cheese or raw cheese isn't commercially imported to the United States. So um, that includes, there's a variety called Camembert, C-A-M-E-M-B-E-R-T cheese. I don't know if you've heard of that. Um, but it, it's a host for deadly foodborne illnesses and bacteria, okay? Unpasteurized cheese. So make sure the cheese that you consume is pasteurized, even though it has lost some of its nutritional value, but consuming it raw can cause a host for deadly um, health issues, all right? Uh, remember microwave uh, popcorn? It's not so much the kernels, we've talked about this, as it is the bags that they come in. If you choose to eat, you know, what is it that you can buy popcorn that there's a hundred calories per serving. But when a chemical that's used in the bag's nonstick coating decomposes, it creates a compound called perfluorooctonic. I think I have the definition here. So I sure do. Perfluorooctonoic acid. Perfluorooctonoic acid. That this acid has been linked to both liver and prostate cancer. Now, this particular acid is used also in nonstick stain resistant consumer products and food packaging. So how, do, how can you avoid that? By being well-informed, by what I'm telling you today, read the label of the packaging, which it'll say, they'll um, abbreviate it with PFOA. So that's pearl floral octanoic acid. And it's used in many of our cooking utensils, you know, those nonstick where the eggs don't stick or the, the uh, when you bake a cake or pie, it won't stick to the pan. Well, check this, that acid just got into the food that you just cooked, all right? Because it came straight from that pan. And then it comes out in the form of disease and you go to the doctor and they diagnose it as something else and you're taking all types of medicine all behind the fact that if you just stop using that particular um, non-stick stain resistant um, product, all right, and knowing what uh, type of packaging that your food is coming in and don't purchase those types of foods anymore um, in that particular packaging, all right? All about making a well-informed decision, amen? So we know that margarine... Um, we don't need to fear, we've talked about this, we don't need to fear the fats and butter, um, but I would recommend, it says watch your margarine intake, but I would recommend not even consuming margarine at all. Many tubs are high in hydrogenated oils, which pack trans fats, the bad kind, also known as bad kind. They can increase your risk of heart disease and cancer. So if you want some butter, have the real butter because it's, that's good for the body. No, the body wants the real thing. You know, our bodies, they want to be healthy and they desire to be healthy. And once you give your body the good things, the good foods that God has given us, 
that um, he said in his word, what did I say in that scripture? That um, who satisfies thy mouth with good things so that thy youth is renewed as the eagles. Your youth will be renewed as the eagles. So don't hold back to eat the real butter. It's good for you, all right? In moderation, all right? Don't consume too much because then again, the good, as I mentioned, um, sugar, uh, fats, they don't discriminate whether they're good sugars or good fats. If you eat too many of them, they can cause um, uh, um, health problems. Okay, let's put it that way. <laughs> Processed meat, um, bacon is considered keto friendly, but it's not actually doing your body any good. According to the um, National Cancer Institute, meats containing nitrates and nitrates have been consistently linked to colon cancer. All right. And nitrates are preservatives that they add to foods to keep them um, in a long shelf life. All right. So be um, aware of that. Um, I know bacon, I, I wouldn't say, you know, I know some people love bacon, you know, if you, if you got to eat it, eat it, do so in moderation. Um, but know that it's been treated unless you find some type of organic bacon, bacon from um, Whole Foods or Vitamin Cottage that has been um, not treated with nitrate, nitrates, nitrites or nitrates. Um, then go ahead and consume those particular products. All right. So we're moving on. So those are the foods that I wanted to share with you that um, you didn't know that could possibly, you know, be very detrimental to where our health and wellness is concerned. So are there any questions, comments, or concerns uh, on that topic? If so, please bring them forth now. I'm gonna pull up. Pam? Yes. And tuna. Go, okay. Would albacore tuna, tuna be a, an upgrade or is it the same issue with albacore tuna? Yes, it can be the same issue. Any type of tuna, um, can, uh, that same issue can be um, detrimental to our health because, again, you, we have to know, and even on the can, it'll say, did you know that if you read the can on, t t if you read the contents on the can of tuna, it's not, uh, not all of it is all tuna. They've mixed in other stuff. So check out, if you got a can of tuna in your cabinet right now, I, if I was you, I'd be running there to read the label before you even consume it. So albacore tuna, yeah, it's, it's the same thing, all tuna. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. But don't be discouraged. You know, there's two. I'm going to stop there. eating. I'm just going to quit eating, period. That's it. <laughs> well, I know one, one of my attendees, she said that Elder Bridges always saying, eat everything, eat, eat raw, everything. <laughs> don't, don't cook nothing. So, so you say you're just going to stop eating. But no, 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 no. <laughs> you can still eat good things. The good things that God has provided for us. All right. All right. You just have to do your, know your uh, do your research, and then again tune into Health Essentials, and I'll inform you the best uh, that I can as far as the information that God has given me to share with you all. <laughs> all right. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? Please bring them forth now. Okay. Okay, there's something else I wanted to share. Hold on one second here. Oh, here we go. So remember we had talked about um, foods to avoid and foods to enjoy. So let's talk a little bit about the fish. <laughs> Fish, wild, freshwater, ocean caught fish is best. Make sure it has fins and scales. So tuna is included in that. We're talking salmon, tuna, scrod, haddock, pompano, trout, orange roughy, 
snapper, herring, whitefish, now tuna in canned spring water. But make sure you read that label because sometimes I'm telling you they add other stuff in there. There was soy added to a can that I saw and I thought, soy, why are they adding soy to tuna? Right? Okay, sardines, halibut, cod, grouper, mahi-mahi, wahoo, sea bass, mackerel, sole. Those are the good um, fish that you can consume. Wild freshwater, ocean caught, again, is best. And then again, make sure it has fins and scales. All right. Any other um, questions, comments, or concerns? If not, that was all that the Lord had given me to share with you all today. And I am just, again, you know, God, he's just doing a mighty work in all of us where our health and wellness is concerned. You know, I'm noticing people are seeing results because of the consistency of hearing, you know, hearing how to govern these physical bodies while we're here on earth and then making a well-informed decision from that. Like you said, um, Brother Stephan, you're more cognizant of what you're putting in your body. And like lady, you've been on this, uh, on this uh, train for a long time and you are seeing magnificent results. Oh my God, you know, from your report. Whose report? We're gonna re believe the report of the Lord, you know, that we're already healed. But just think about how much more if we would do the do's of what he said to do in his word and not do the don'ts of what the world is telling us to do where our health and wellness is concerned. We'll have optimal health in a matter of no time and being in these bodies until Jesus comes back. I told you we are made to last. Amen. These bodies are made to last. Stefan, were you going to comment? No, I was going to say amen. That's all. Amen. Okay. All right. Well, I received that amen. And again, um, just keep keep coming, you all, because I'm, I'm here every Tuesday. I'm, I will not stop doing this. I love sharing um, what I have. And I have so, so much more, so much more to share. And, um, and you'll see, be, stay consistent and you'll see the results over time. Yeah, over time. Amen? All right, let's see. We had, oh, just, just, just the four of us. All right, <laughs> praise the Lord. And those that may be listening on the other various platforms as well. So I just am so thankful that, again, you, you decided to spend your time here on Health Essentials this morning. Hallelujah to hear what thus saith the Lord. So we are going to close out this session, and I am going to actually ask um, um, Brother Stephan, if you would um, close us out in prayer, in a short prayer. Okay. Yes, yes you. <laughs> well, Father, we come to you this afternoon, first of all, to give you praise, glory, and honor. For another day, we thank you, Father, for we take it not lightly that you've blessed us with another day. Yes. Uh, I pray, Father, that we would continue to keep you on our in our hearts, on our minds, and on our lips even, yes. and that we would uh, strive to give you the glory, the honor, the praise, and all that we do. I pray that we would continue to think upon you daily throughout our day mm -hmm. father and that we would be mindful to do the things as elder bridget has said to do the things that you've told us to do and to uh, stay clear of those things that you've told us not to do so we thank you for this class today we thank you father for uh health and strength even our mental um health and strength we uh we thank you for fellowship. I thank you, Father, for the people that are in our lives. You keep mm -hmm. us comforted, not only by you, but you, you comfort us with our friends and family members. And so we just thank you for today. We give you glory, honor, and praise. In the name of Yahushua and Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 Here's to you all and optimal health. Amen. Thank you. Amen. You're so very welcome.